How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Pit People. I just teamed up with Pip Estrella and we had the tragic death of Pop Estrella. And uh, now I know I'm just adventuring around in the overworld here. It, that didn't, <laughs> that looked like I would be able to easily cross, cross but uh, I guess I can't cross the water tiles. I sh should have assumed there's like the half land, half water tiles. No, no concerns there. I can cross those. Ooh, this looks like... Uh, it looked like maybe there would be like a secret if I took the little, the little path there, like a little secret path, like I'm venturing, adventuring along the the dead marshes or something like that. Speaking of the dead marshes, there's a bunch of zombies over there. So what do you know? My my theory wasn't that absurd. Let me see. There's also a candy land. I do not know where I'm. Supposed to be heading right now. Like, there's obviously the arrow showing me where to go, but I don't know what my destination is. You just get stuck on stuck on little houses when you run into them there. Okay, there's just uh, a giant uh, yes, town. The city, how it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. We lost everything, but now we can start anew. A fight in the pit should get us some gold. Let's try to find a third fighter to help us out. Ooh, am I going to be able to select? Oh man, I really like the way that building is dancing around. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, what are these people doing? Every time they're like pulling their pants up or down or something as they're leaving the pit? It seems like they're leaving. It has been two days since the last storm. And I'm guessing the storm is like these big uh, apocalyptic events that are going on here. Help wanted. No running. Mm, just gibberish, can't read any of that. Oh, I see. Wow! Oh, there's so much more town! You have zero tournament points today. The market, the phone, the music box, insane difficulty. I don't, I am not ready for any of that stuff. I love this bouncy town, this is fun! <laughs> also, the color palette here is really, really nice. I like, like, the muted colors, and then having, having a dark outline for the main character. It's always a good choice. Ooh, PvP. I'm gonna have to give that a try at some point. It'd be fun to team up with, uh, like, battling another YouTuber. I might just end up playing a friend of mine or something, but it would be cool to, to battle against someone from YouTube. Unfair co-op versus people. <laughs> um, it's locked, though, so I guess I have to go try and do this one first. A Demi-Clops! Isn't he still just a Cyclops? What makes him Demi? Let's join souls, okay? Um, what if I say no? <laughs> How about now? Uh, what if I say no? Oh, I, I, I want him the other way, I think. I want I want him with the big beard on the bottom and the, the small hairdo on the top there. I like that either or works with these wacky character designs. What? Why did he change back on me? I wanted, I liked it the other way. Oh my god, oh I see, merging souls, they were quite literal about that. Is Horatio going to get a third eye then? Is that how that's, what's going to happen here? The great, this is like the great bear, but then there's a frowny one and a happy one? I really don't know, this is getting, mm, I guess no more absurd than I would have expected, but I, I thought he was meaning join souls in like a figurative sense, I thought maybe that was just like how that guy talked. What the fuck did I just do? Oh yeah, in battle he's got the downward pointing beard. I guess it was just upward just for the sake of that cutscene. What just happened? The emissary, welcome people to the pit. I was hoping I was gonna get a little bit more of an explanation about what all just happened. It seems like literally, what fuck, nothing is gonna get explained. Yosef. Oh, I missed what he said. Oh yeah, I should head to the front. Oh, maybe he was just saying, I'm a puss and I do not have enough, like, defense to protect myself from this. Uh, let's get Horatio. I wanted to get him right there. That's as close as I can get him. I can get, uh, the axe. I can get Yosef to the back there. It seems like I'm exposing him. But I, I want to see what he can do. I don't want to be underestimating him. Getting, getting all the turn order done all at once and all the attacks done at once and everything seems like a really efficient way to 
progress the game. It's like, it just makes things a little more fast-paced. I can see one issue with it already, though, is that a lot of times in these types of games, you would send forward whoever your strongest is, and if they don't quite kill him, you can have, like, a cleanup guy who comes in and, and finishes them off. Throwing axes have a chance to stun your enemies, to throw... Leave a hex between you and your target, and same thing. I guess he'll just auto, he'll just auto target them. Let's let's set him up for that. Plant him next to these spikes, and you can see. Now I'm I'm gonna stick him back here and have him have him take on our ranged people here. Okay, it's gonna let me move um, Horatio into the spot that's been left open. It looks like I can I can also use the mouse wheel to scroll through things. I've been using tab, but. Oh, these guys don't have much health. I like that guy's alligator hat, though. I wish I had a sweet alligator hat. I mean, I do have this big, bushy mustache, but I want both. Can't I have both? Enough, bring forth the speckled horseman. It doesn't sound that cool. Oh, is a giraffe. Oh, yeah, this is the guy from the opening scene there, and I meant to comment on that, that when I closed the game, booted it up again, and I saw that. It's a draft with, like, weird different spots, and the guy who was riding it clearly had, like, Uzis strapped to his belt. I'll just quickly show that again so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this game is just a blend of whatever the fuck they felt like, which I'm totally okay with. <laughs> Alright, I want to position this guy so he attacks the alligator guy, but with throwing axes. Maybe that's not gonna work. That's good enough, I suppose. I... Fuck, fuck this helmet guy. He's uh, he's a real pain in the ass. Oh yeah, he's nearly... I'm nearly done with him though. I like the dual wielding axes. They seem to be doing some, some heavy duty damage. Except for this guy's just unloading his fucking... Blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to... what are gun noises. Pew pew pew, bang bang, blah, blah, blah. I can throw axes to stun. Oh yeah, I should let him do that. Uh, you stay where you are, because you're going to attack that guy. You stay, everyone just stay where you are. I want you to be, like, working on finishing off your respective targets. There we go, we got one and another. There was a crit, we still didn't even kill the Uzi guy there? Damn it. I, there's that thing again where they get, like, the, the sweat or whatever from being, I don't know, overworked. I haven't seen an explanation of how, how that works yet. Oh man, this guy, I did not realize he was going to have so much goddamn health. And I don't think any of my axes have actually stunned anything yet. Oh nice, everyone's going to everyone's gonna go full force on this guy. Give him a good bashing. I still don't think I've stunned him yet. Ah, oh, he's toast next turn though. Not even, no, oh, no big deal. Aw oh, damn him, he's running away from me? He's punching me with guns? I don't know if that's the best strategy, but... I, you do you, man. If that's how you want to fight, then just be prepared to lose, I guess. Okay, let's see. This is interesting. So everyone died, and both teams get an MVP. Very most valuable pit person, I guess that would be. Um, let's see. Kills. Two, zero. Utility? Not totally sure what that was. Damage? They did the same amount of damage. What do you think of that? Tank? I guess that's the number of times they got targeted? Does that make sense? 45? I don't know if that... Does that mean damage taken? I'm not entirely sure what all that means. So, I guess I get to collect treasure? What? You really should listen to me, Horatio. Okay. Okay, I was like, why the fuck did you do that, Horatio? Okay, this is more of Stamper's weird narrator, who I, I don't know what to call him right now. I'm just going to keep referring to him as Stamper. I'm just going to pretend that Stamper is a character in this game rather than him voice acting something. Until the game says otherwise, that's how I'm going to treat that. So I got a bunch of gold, I got a toothbrush for Horatio specifically, I guess maybe, and, and more gold, all sorts, all sorts of gold. A hero is stronger and has more health. Do I, do I choose who gets more health? Is that what that means? Confused. The Emperor says you fight well. He gives you the house. Take the one by the market. I, I was just, I wanted to listen to the guys like weird mumbling and stuff. I was wondering if there was actually words hidden somewhere in there. Listening to that, I think that that was not the case. 
yeah, let's go to our house. See what the heck we what we, what we got going on here. Horatio. The there's a percent of their pounds. Is that maybe the weight that they're carrying? I suppose. Horatio can carry swords and clubs. I guess that means. Dodge. Ooh, uh, Pipistrella is pretty dodgy. That's good. New new thing. Oh, I see. That's his hairdo. That's not, uh... Oh, but that was for... <laughs> Whoops. I just realized that was a hairdo. I thought I got toothbrush like an item. Now, you, you guys you guys keep your current dues. I want you guys to just look regular for, for the time being, at least. We can play around with that more later. Okay, so right now I can have four guys, and I can buy additional slots. Recent friends team. So I guess that would be... If I played with someone... Wow, that's some house, huh? You know, we've had trouble with some bullies by the beach. Not that you owe the Emperor to the gates. So, what he's saying is, you definitely owe the Emperor. Go, uh, go take care of some of that shit for us. I can't, I guess I can't go in the pit yet. I guess I'm officially still not a pit person. I'm just, uh, just a regular old fighter who happens to enjoy pits and talk about pits often. Ooh, we have a wagon now? A wagon that's full of ca cannons. We must win a battle. Ooh, I didn't get to see why. He had a reason, though. I guess it was... Oh my god, here's the busted up fucking bear head. Oh, poor great bear. And your bastard skull. Oh my god, and he's just like slobbering and stuff. What an unflattering way to be found dead. Like, uh, I... I you, you think he'd much rather have died in his sleep or something. Holy shit, look at this big burly son of a bitch. He's got a little bone shield, a big, huge wooden club, and like some kind of what are those called? Where they got the, the fish with the light bulb thing? It looks like he turns one turned one of those into a the fucking helmet. He's way bigger than my huge entire cart. Are those horses at the front? Cause they sure as shit don't look like horses. I do like how they look. They just I'm just saying that shit ain't horsey. What's this cave? I I want to explore the cave. Is that not an option? Will it be an option at some point though? Perhaps. Who knows? You know what, guys? Next time, we'll find out. Probably not next time for the cave thing in particular, but next time, I'm definitely going to go fight this big beast, big beastie beach boss. So that's a, that's something that we can all look forward to. In the meantime, let's all just take a minute to uh, to mourn our lost bear, bear buddy. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.